quantum numbers, the quantum numbers we have so far are n, l, and m sub l. n, of course, can vary um, integers 1 to infinity, so 1, 2, 3, etc. l, uh, and n, of course, is telling us the energy of the electron and the size of the region in space. L is giving us information about the shape of the region in space. And L varies um, from 0 to n minus 1. So L um, for 0 can only be 1. For quantum energy state, um, n equals 2. Principal quantum number 2, it can be um, 0 or 1. And for 3, it can be 0, 1, or 2. M sub L tells us the orientation of those, um, what we would call subshells. We can define N also as the main energy level or shell. L, the shape is a subshell, and M sub, M sub L, the individual orbital. And it varies from negative L through zero up to positive L. So for zero, of course, it's just zero. For zero here, in this case, it can only be zero. For 1, however, it can be negative 1, 0, or 1. For 0 here, it can only be one, uh, 0. For 1, it can be negative 1, 0, or 1. And for 2, it can be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, or 2. So we can see as we move up to higher and higher energy levels, we have more and more potential shapes and orientations of those shapes. So we want to know how can we relate these quantum numbers, n, l, and m sub l, to what's called the orbital notation method of um, presenting the electron configuration. This particular diagram here is for the hydrogen atom. And as we increase in energy, we increase from quantum number 1, 2, up to 3. Um, and it goes on to infinity. But in this case, what we see is um, for L, another way to represent L is either by the numbers 0, 0, 1 here, 0, 1, 2, or we can also represent um, S with the letter, excuse me, 0 with the letter S. So the 0 um, shape is also called the S shape. The 1 shape is also called the P shape. And I'll put the P over here. And then the 2 is for the D shape. And then um, FYI, uh, the, uh, if L equals 3, it is considered the um, F shape. And we could go on uh, past that. Um, when L is equal to 4, it's called the G shape, et cetera. It just goes on. Um, each increasing number gives each increasing letter uh, beyond the S, P, the D, and the F, and then just G, H, I, et cetera, et cetera. But let's just get started here. This is for the hydrogen atom. And so if I want to relate the quantum number to this type of orbital notation over here, 1S is telling me that the um, this electron in this place would have uh, n would equal n is represented by the one here, and the l the n is represented by one, the l is represented by the s, and this little uh, dashed line right here is indicating the m sub l value. So there's only one value for m sub l in this particular situation. You've got one zero, which is s and zero quantum number for m sub l, which indicates one orientation. So we just have one um, dashed line. So this is how we take the uh, quantum number notation and express it in terms of orbitals. In this case, 2s and 2p, you can see um, the energy shell is 2. Um, within it, we have the subshell s and p. And then s has one orientation, and p has th uh, three orientations. So the 2 in both cases is for the n principal quantum number. The s here is for the l equals 0 is the s. And then l equals 1 is the p. And then since l equals 0 only has one orientation, an m sub l value of 0, then this is the m sub l value represented with this little dash. And then the um, m sub l for when l equals 1 m sub l can equal negative 1, 0, or 1. And those three orientations are represented by these three dashed lines. Okay, So this is what it would look like um, for the hydrogen atom. All right, let's look at one more example of going from electron configuration using the um, 
the orbital notation and quantum numbers. And this question says, state the ground state electron configuration and associated quantum numbers for hydrogen. Okay, in this case, the ground state electron configuration using the orbital notation means uh, use the notation and, and show us where the electron would be in that notation, and then also write the associated quantum numbers. And so we know that the um, for the for for hydrogen, the ground state would be the lowest energy situation, and the lowest energy situation right here is the 1s. Okay, and so the electron, excuse me a little, whoops, whoops. The ground state electron configuration is going to be, that electron is going to be found in the lowest energy level, and so it's going to be 1s, and one way to do it is put a line on top, so the 1 is for the n, the s is for the l, the line indicates that there's one orientation, and we're going to use an arrow to indicate that there's an electron residing in that one orbital. Another way, equally acceptable, to represent it is to say 1s and then put a little number 1. The number 1 is indicating that there's one electron in this subshell called s, and, it, and the 1, of course, is the first energy level. And then the associated quantum numbers, since this number is the n, you write the quantum number n, you go in this order, n, l, and m sub l. You put a comma in between. So it's, it's uh, n equals 1, s is for l equals 0, and there's only one orientation, and so it's zero. So that's the quantum number notation, and that's the orbital notation. The next question says the three quantum numbers for an electron in a hydrogen atom in a certain excited state are n equals 4, l equals 2, and m sub l equals minus 1. In what type of orbital is this electron located? So what this is telling us is that the electron is not in, it's not in the ground state, it's somewhere in an excited state further up on the energy level um, of, of available positions. And so if n equals 4, that means it's in the fourth uh, main energy level. So for the orbital notation, I'm going to say, for the electron configuration, I'm going to put the number 4. L equals 2, remember when L equals 0, that means it's s. When L equals 1, they're referring to the p shape. And when L equals 2, that's referring to the d shape. So since L equals 2 here, then it's in the d orbital, and then the m sub l is minus 1. And if you do the, the um, orbital notation indicating all of the different 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 orientations, because it's minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2, means there's five different orientations, then you just stick the electron in one of those places. It doesn't matter where, because the, the number associated with the m sub l in no way indicates which one of those dashes it should be in. Or another way to write it is to say 4d1. Okay? Um, the last question here, what are all the possible quantum numbers for an electron located in the 2d orbital uh, of the hydrogen atom? Okay. So when we ask this question, the 2d, that means that n must equal 2, l must equal 2. Wait a minute. That breaks the rules for the quantum numbers. Um, the way the quantum number mechanics works, when n equals 2, l can only equal 0 or 1, and in this case, L equals 2. So this is not an allowed place. An electron can never be here because this pr particular orbital is not allowed based on the rules, and experimentally, it's not been determined, so this is not allowed. All right, so <clears throat> you can only have orbitals that are allowed um, that have proper quantum numbers. Why don't we switch this and ask ourselves, what are all the possible quantum numbers for an electron located um, in a 2p? And I'll move over here and answer that question. Um, okay, so for 2p, what if I were in a 2p orbital, I had an electron in a 2p orbital, what would be all of our possible quantum numbers? Well, I know that um, n is going to have to equal 2, and um, if that's the case, this is the n, l can be um, 1 or 0. And therefore, m sub l can be um, only 0 here, and it can be minus 1, 0, or 1 here. So let's put these together and get all the different possible arrangements of quantum numbers uh, for a hydrogen. In this case, it would be 2, um, 0, 0. That would be this case down here. Or it could be, let's see here, it could be 2, 1, 
negative 1, or 2, 1, 0, or 2, um, 1, 1. All right, so there's four different possible sets of quantum numbers, possible sets, for an electron found in the 2p orbital of a hydrogen. Four different